Hi everyone, wishing you all a Shabbat Shalom and Vorach. This week's parasha Naso has in it the beautiful Berchat Kohanim, the blessings that the Kohanim give us every single morning in the synagogue. And there's a very beautiful custom that when the Kohanim step down after the blessings, for the congregants to approach them and to tell them, Hazaku Baruch, Yashar Kochaha, thank you for that beautiful blessing. And I think there's a very powerful message in this small custom. You know, every one of us needs to feel appreciated and recognized for the things that we do in our lives. We like to be praised. We like to hear that people recognize our efforts. And although we need to hear it and we like to receive it, very rarely do we actually give praise and give thank you. If you think about the amount of people that we interact with every single day, by the time we wake up and then we start heading to work, it could be in the taxi or a bus driver or teacher, somebody in the office. How often do we say the words, thank you? And a lot of times we rationalize and justify the reason that we don't give thanks. We excuse ourselves with the simple idea and fact that the person that is doing something for me, I'm paying them. They're getting paid to do what they do. I'm paying the taxi driver. I'm paying the bus driver. I'm paying the teacher. I'm paying my employees. They should tell me thank you for providing them with an opportunity to get paid for using them. And the truth is the Brachat Kohanim remind us that all of the Kohanim maybe are obligated to bless us. It's a mitzvah from the Torah. God tells them you have to do it. But people aren't machines. People have feelings. People need to be recognized. And although somebody has to do something, they still need to hear that they're appreciated for their efforts. Remember, the Torah tells us, Ki lo ala lehem levado adam. Mankind cannot live alone on bread. Nobody works just for money. At the end of the day, people need to feel satisfaction. People need to feel appreciated for what they do. Telling our husbands, thank you so much for being the breadwinner. It allows me to spend time with the children. It's something that is so powerful and every husband wants and needs to hear. Telling our wives, Thank you so much for taking care of the children, for taking care of the house. It's something that every wife needs to hear. Telling our children, thank you for doing your homework or for doing your chores, the very homework and chores that you're obligated and that you need to do. It doesn't matter. Kids need to hear thank you. How many adults are still scarred or are still hurt because never once in their lives did their parent ever tell them the words, I am proud of you. Thank you for doing what you're doing. We must remember to always thank those around us. After all, we are called Yehudim, coming from the word Toda. Thank you. The first words we say when we open our eyes every single morning, Mode ani lefanecha. Thank you, Hashem, for the amazing life and opportunities that you give me. May Hashem help us always to thank and to praise those around us. And remember that praise like sunlight will only help things grow. Shabbat Shalom.